viewers, welcome back to the channel. It's Asoy Cookies here. Today we are doing something really, really interesting because I'm gonna try this one here. Okay, first and foremost, everything is written in Japanese. Oh yeah, here. Something that's in English is written as Pringles, Jalapeno, and Onion. Product of Japan, of course. Ingredients, potato flakes, veggie oils, Wheat starch, seasoning powder has salt, glucose, spice, onion powder, sugar, garlic powder, vinegar powder, that's a lot of powder, rice flour, ex spice extract, flavor, and mmm. Every time you read this kind of thing where you'll be like, okay, I'm not eating this. <laughs> no, we, we will try this chips because we've all known Pringles as potato chips, right? So is this... And then for noodle or potato chips. Let's find out. Okay, let us do this here, shall we? Yes. So we're doing sprinkles. Noodle potato chips, noodle potato chips. To be very very honest, I really don't think this whole plastic thing is necessary, but right? the noodles always comes with this, right? Or it's probably to prevent you know, holes or the packaging damage while um, it's being imported. So this is what we are looking at today. This it just smells like Pringles. <laughs> It doesn't taste like Pringles. In fact, they stood a little bit like stale, a little bit Lao Hong ish. But um, <coughs> there is no, there is no fork, which is kind of good because lesser plastic, right? But then again, instant noodle without like fork would sort of like defeat the purpose. Or is this at the bottom of it? I want to be like. Okay, I don't think there's a book in it. Anyway, well, this probably has to go in for this is the your onion or chili. Oh yeah, onion or chili. This is actually a really really big pack of like powder. And um, the color is a little bit pinkish. It's like the pink sea salt color. I'm already smelling a little bit like potato chips. But <laughs> what is this? This has a little bit of those like, potato ish taste. Maybe uh, starchy ish or whatever, just to make it thick or I, I don't know. We will just put it in anyhow because they're all in Japanese. You go, I am back. <laughs> so it's 500 ml of water. That's just. I'm so terrible. <laughs> I'll go get. More stuff to go with my instant noodle. Sorry, my guys, I really cannot make this out. It's just everything is in Japanese. Something that has a three, maybe three minutes. Anyhow, it's just instant noodle, right? It's not like rocket science or anything. Think kimchi, <laughs> terrible seaweed, and of course, cucumber. <laughs> I just need some sort of veggie, I feel, so... Mm. I feel that, um, when people always say like, no, oh, I just like eating veggie, or like, my kid just like eating veggie, you know some kids, how they can be like, real horrible when it comes to like, trying to feed them with vegetables. And, um, I've been advocating on this, I've been, I've been telling everyone that, um, Vegetable in your diet is very very important So what I really like to do is just having cucumbers in the fridge That's like a really simple thing to do because um, they have longer shelf life than vegetables like lettuce or Any vegetables actually because vegetables if you buy them from the market or the supermarket You're just gonna keep them for like three days max or like salad leaves and all that but cucumber it's just something you can put it in the fridge for, I don't know, like a week. If you miss out eating your cucumber, you can put it in the freezer as well. 
freeze them. So after that, you can put it in your smoothie or blend it. You know? That's why I always grow. Okay, it's been 3 minutes already. It's ready to eat. I cannot wait to dig into this because it's just so unique. Mm. Mm. I'm to take a look at it. Mm. So it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. See how the color is so yellow. Let's dig in, dig in, dig in, dig in. Mm. Mm. I like the noodle texture. It is uh, it's it's slightly very a lot more compact, a lot more filling. So it's quite al dente also uh. But um, the soup. It's really really salty. It's like it's like eating the potato chip. Like you finish the entire can of Pringles and then what's left over in and in your on your fingers and you just lick it right. It's it's that yeah. But times ten thousand lot the amount. And mine I'm not really like drinking the soup yet. I'm just eating the noodles and I'm I can already taste like the saltiness seriously. It just tastes like normal chicken soup instant noodle. I can't really like distinguish the flavor. Like if you blindfold me and ask me like what flavor is this? Is this your typical instant noodle flavor? Mm hmm Interesting texture, noodle texture, but um, the flavor is just so so. Yeah, here's where we go with some vegetable that is your homemade kimchi. Mm, I think add a bit more of 500ml is too salty. I think we go with like 650 maybe. Mm, hot. Mm. I don't know about you guys, but. I like eating my instant noodle with egg. Eggs and instant noodles is just like the best combo ever, right? But do you guys put eggs into cup noodles like this? Because I always just cook them over the stove. Do people really crack an egg into the instant noodle? I, I think yeah, you can do that if your water is boiling hot. Like, it'll be a... I think that'll, that'll be quite great, right? So let me know if you cook your instant noodle with an egg inside your cup noodle or your instant bowl noodle. Like leave in the comment below and let me know. Yeah.